Greetings, this is LKR Soap and Such, and you are joining me as I have just unmolded my Kumbacha Scoby Sage and Tea Tree Oil Soap. And as you can see, it has a more creamy color to it at this point. I did put it in the freezer um, shortly after I actually poured it so as to slow down the saponification and the heat that um, is inevitable when you put anything with high sugar content like the kombucha in your soaps. And it looks a lot creamier, but the test will be when we actually cut these beautiful bars from this loaf. So that's what we're going to do now. We are going to cut soap. It's actually been three days. I didn't get around to it yesterday. So here we are cutting our Kumbacha Scoby Sage and Tea Tree Oil Soap. I have tuned my cutter. And because this is a 12 bar cutter and my loaf is actually larger than that, I will do that in two separate cuts. So I think I'll bring you closer so you can actually watch close up. So here we go. And it looks like I'm gonna have to push down on these to get them to come through. And here we are. Let's see, it looks creamy now. So it does look like there's a bit of a shell around it. We'll find out if that changes as it cures, but there they are. Uniform, I've got a lot of little sage crumbs on me. There's not much to it because they aren't colored in any way. A lot of my soaps are just plain because I would rather not add extra anything in them for people that I have um, that are sensitive skinned. So I'm just a plain Jane or a plain Lauren. Here's that first set. So that gave me three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen full bars and this partial bar. Second time I've used my Plowboy's 12 bar soap cutter. There are my soaps. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like, and I hope to have more for you in the future. Bye.